Well, Missouri has a record budget surplus right now, and widening Interstate 70 is a statewide priority right now for the governor. But those plans are stalled in the state legislature. We're going to go over to Fox 2's Laura Simon. She joins us. And Laura, you say the plan may be expanding and could cost even more under one proposal? Yeah, that's according to one bill, John, and we'll get to that here in a moment. But if you drive out of the St. Louis area on I-70 West here in the St. Charles County area, you might wonder why at some point in time it'll go from four lanes down to three lanes down to two. And that's exactly what this bill will be addressing because this area sees a lot of traffic at all times of the day, but especially during the morning and evening rush. So Missouri does sit with a $6 billion surplus right now. And Governor Mike Parson said in his State of the State speech that he wants to widen Interstate 70 from St. Louis to Kansas City. In fact, this is one of his top priorities, but that speech was nearly three months ago and the state legislature has yet to earmark a single dollar toward this idea. The legislative session is set to end in mid-May, but there is some hope this morning as State Senator Bill Eigel of St. Charles is sponsoring a bill to spend even more money on I-70 than what the governor has proposed. The governor was wanting to set aside $859 million to expand I-70 to three lanes near Wentzville, Columbia and Blue Springs. And Eigel's bill would actually set aside up to $1.5 billion a year for 10 years to widen every remaining two lane stretch of I-70. That'll end up being close to 190 miles from Wentzville to Blue Springs, which is near Kansas City. This would also include a rebuild of the 6440 I-70 interchange. What I call the Wentzville Strangler, which is where Highway 40 and Highway 70, that's the number one bottleneck in the state that we could relieve if we undertook a major renovation project of I-70. Don't forget, it's eight years from the time we say go to get an actual project like that completed. Eigel went on to say this project would also reduce traffic deaths and crashes. It would also help with the maintenance fees for the roads that the state is currently dealing with right now. And the state Senate is expected to talk about this bill this week at the state legislature. Reporting live in St. Charles this morning, Laura Simon, Fox 2 News.